Hey everyone, I am in my pajamas, my robe, which used to belong to my mom, so I don't even know where she got it from. In my recent video, which was my playing with you makeup video, I mentioned how I had a mess in front of me. I couldn't even open my vanity because I have so much shit. So much shit in my vanity, so... Um, one of my goals for this year is definitely to be more organized, more tidy. Me, just like with... <laughs> I feel like everyone, um, well, the majority of people, I become obsessed with Marie Kondo. I find her freaking adorable. <laughs> I just want to put her in my pocket because she's just so cute. Um, but I just want to tidy up. So the first area that I want to tidy up and make it more functional is my vanity area, which is currently... A mess um, it's always been a little bit of a mess but more recently it's become a disaster it's not functional I can't do my makeup um, I can't find stuff that I'm looking for and it really became even worse right after my dog uh, Buster passed away because I just dumped everything on top uh, <laughs> are, you, are you guys ready to see how much of a mess it is all right, even Bowie's like, I don't. I mean, this is all a mess. I'm gonna take it, you know, one step at a time. Everything in my room is a mess. I just, look at that. But look at this. <laughs> this is, I know, it's really, really bad. Uh, this is what I meant when I said that I couldn't open this without knocking everything down. It's just not functional. Even this area, I'm gonna consider this part of the, you know, vanity area because this is all within within arm's reach um i will maybe do a part two of my tidying up and maybe decluttering some stuff so if you want to see that let me know in the comments below and i can go through all the drawers because i desperately need to get rid of stuff but today i'm just gonna tackle what is this area right here the vanity and uh, the Muji drawers, because I also caved in and got Muji drawers when the craze was, you know, at <laughs> at its peak. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tidy up. I'm going to clean. I have some of my cleaning um, solutions. <laughs> Is it solutions? I don't even know. I have um, some cleaning supplies right below over here. So I have, this is the Method Antibacterial All-Purpose Cleaner, not sponsored. <laughs> Can you focus? Dang it. <laughs> this guy that I bought at Target. Um, and then these two, I used to take care of my acrylic containers. I bought these at the container store. You can tell I haven't used them in a while because they're freaking dusty. So these are from the brand Novus. So I have the plastic clean and shine and then I also have this one which is the fine scratch remover I don't always use this but I feel like I might have to just because I haven't been maintaining my acrylic containers so I might use that I also do have this one by Mrs. Uh, Mayer's <laughs> clean day it's the uh, oh my, vinegar I was gonna say vinegar like what type of accent is that uh, I have no idea but the vinegar gel no rinse cleaner. I might use this on uh, on this IKEA vanity. And I get a lot of questions whenever I do show this vanity. Um, it is from IKEA. It's part of the Brims uh, collection. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Sorry. <laughs> as much as I love Sweden and Swedish, I don't know how to uh, pronounce things properly. <laughs> So it is part of that collection. I will link it down below. It is very practical for very small spaces and this is a tiny tiny corner in my room. So yeah. All right. I think I'm gonna do what <laughs> Marie Kondo does and I'm gonna take everything off this vanity area and just dump it. I'm not gonna lie. I feel extremely overwhelmed. And my anxiety levels are going up to the point that my ears feel a little numb. <sighs> Holy fuck. Look at all of this. Like, being in the beauty community is not the most uh, sustainable 
area uh, it's just holy oh my god I, I can't it is uh, now I know how the people that filmed the <laughs> Marie Kondo show feel when they take out all the clothing and put it in like on their bed it's a lot lot I actually have done that I have taken out every article of clothing that I owned made you know the mountain up here and got rid of so much stuff I think I did that in 2016 or 15 I'm not sure but um, it was very overwhelming but as soon as I was done with that I, I felt so good Okay, I need to calm down and breathe. Oh my god, I didn't expect myself to get this overwhelmed. But the first thing that I need to do is actually clean. Oh look. Oh, this is something that I can throw away. Good. So I need to just clean surfaces, disinfect them, and then I'll start cleaning, you know, my acrylic my acrylic containers. Which I have a few. I'm gonna put these guys on the floor. Just so I can focus on cleaning and disinfecting. finally done wiping the surfaces <laughs> including my phone including my phone so we got that done now I need to clean all my acrylic containers um, and I know I will get this question the vanity area as well as this little cart this one I did buy contact paper and I just cover them in contact paper because the vanity itself is actually completely red from inside which I don't know why <laughs> I don't get it uh, contact paper was cool a little difficult to put in this vanity but um, a subscriber of mine did show me hers and she just painted it I don't know why I didn't do that but I, I did it such a long time ago so I just didn't have good ideas back then. Cover this in paper towels. Gonna start with the actual Muji drawers, the units. And before I get told, I know you're supposed to use a cloth to clean these, but I don't have clean one at the moment so these will do and these for paper towels are actually quite cloth like so I think I should be fine well that wasn't so bad look at that look at that if you have any Muji drawers or anything that's made out of acrylic this stuff the bottle seems small but I've had this bottle for years now this stuff is amazing highly recommend it you can buy it at the container store but i will also link it down below so i'm done cleaning these guys and all of these different containers are from the container store i'll see if i can find them if i can i will link them down below this one's from daiso uh these two which are very difficult to clean are from ebay super cheap they hold lipsticks but yeah i'm struggling with how to clean them I think I need to grab like a q-tip and actually clean it from inside because they get really really dusty in here this guy I think he's gonna go over here like he usually does these two I like right here in this direction this guy I like right here actually, let's see yeah that does not fit Mm -hmm. 
usually have it like that. Should have it like this. I also keep some of my lip balms out on display, so I'll put that here. This is a little plate that my friend in Paris gave me. My friend Caroline. This guy. No, don't like it. Let's go back to this guy. I know it looks weird right now. I don't have anything. But we're working through it. This guy we can put up here. Or we can do the opposite thing. Put it here. I think the first thing that can go back is <laughs> my lip liners. These are probably the only thing that are organized. Uh, keeping that right here. The little cup is from Wish.com. Bed Bath & Beyond. Nice. Then what else can we put? This guy, because I just cleaned my brushes. So this is from Target from years ago. And I put them over here. I'm going to start tackling this ginormous mess. So I'm going to start with the easiest items, the things that I know I'm definitely going to keep. And I'm going to start putting them in Muji drawers. So first thing I can, I know I can keep and I know where to store is um, my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I used to love these so much when they came out and I have a pretty decent collection. I haven't worn them in such a long time just because of how my vanity area looked like. So I'm going to start organizing them. And uh, yeah, these are gonna be the first thing going back in my Muji drawer. The other thing I know that I really want to keep just because I love using them are the Milk Makeup Sticks. So I'm gonna organize them in a way that will make it easier for me to reach for them. I have the Wonder Beauty Mascara, which is brand new, so I'm definitely going to keep this. This is a Mexican mascara. I've had it for a few months now, so I'm pretty sure it needs to be thrown out. It's been in my collection for a good, I would say, five months, maybe six. Yeah, starting to smell. So this guy is leaving. We have three of the ColourPop BFF mascaras. I have the red one, the blue one, and the black one. So these are staying. They're very, very new. This one's pretty new. This one's the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. So that's staying. This is the Jane Irondell Primer. That's staying. And uh, this guy is from the same brand. But I like using this as a brow gel. Had it for, actually, this is staying. I still like it. <laughs> I also have my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Yeah, that's staying. <laughs> that's one of my favorite mascaras. So another thing that I can put in here because I already know what I'm gonna keep are eyeliners. So we have some ColourPop. We have a green one. This guy. I'm just gonna put the ColourPops down first. And I like having these within reach so I can film videos and get ready pretty quickly. Then we have some bare minerals, so the one fine line that I love. More one fine line. So I had a little Marie Kondo inspired epiphany. So in this drawer I used to keep eyeshadow palettes. These guys. I just get lazy to pull First of all, open this drawer and have to pull out everything in the drawer to see what I want. So if I keep other things like foundations and concealers and more of uh, like everyday basics, I feel like I will be inclined to open it up and actually see what I have without having to take everything out. So I'm going to put these containers in here. And uh, now that I think about it, I really do think this is either from Daiso or the Dollar Tree. All right, so I've been doing this for a while. It is milk. Like, you know <laughs> it is 5:27. Um, obviously made some progress. We have some products here, here. This makes me, I don't know. I, this makes me so happy. <laughs> we have the Too Faced blushes, so they actually fit in there perfectly. Um, powder. This is maybe not the most functional thing. 
it's just a row of uh, Bare Minerals blushes. I might change that, but for now, it's just going to stay like that. Um, brushes are it where they're supposed to. We got the lips all settled, except I still have more MAC ones, so I feel like I might need to at least give the duplicates to my mom. I think that's fair. So palettes have not been chosen. I still have one drawer. Oh my, what? One drawer? <gasps> I only have this one to fill out. This is going to be a little organizer for my cubicle at work. So I'm just putting some little, little minis. And uh, yeah, so I'm doing that. What else? This became just a foundation drawer. I think that's good. I think that's good. We have luxury lipsticks in this container from Trader Joe's, Charlotte Tilbury, makes me very happy. Um, and yeah, I still have, still have a lot. So if you want to see an eyeshadow palette decluttering, let me know in the comments below because I feel like I really need to do that. And then there could be a whole separate video on decluttering lip products because lord knows and this is me being not religious but I just have a shit ton of um, everything so that can be a whole, st <laughs> a whole other video very long video but we can do it if you're interested this whole collection is stuff that I started collecting when I first started to take blogging seriously so that's 2013. So you can imagine how much expired makeup is in here. Alright, I think I am officially done. I have a few things, but I'm going to put them in their spot. And uh, this is how my vanity looks like. Much better. I can actually sit down, which I will do. Little benches from Ikea. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's still a little bit busy. I'm not... I had a phase where I really, really wanted to be a minimalist, and I did an okay job being that. Wow, look, that's me looking like a mess, because um, I didn't do anything except cry and tidy up. <laughs> and I was just kidding. I didn't cry. I was listening to the podcast. Um, I heard like three or four episodes, so it's been a while. And, um, yeah, so we have my milk makeup collection, eyeliners, this random brush, blush, more blush, more blush, uh, that's probably not necessary, but whatever. We're gonna roll with it for right now, uh, Fenty, multi, uh, what's it called? Match sticks? I was gonna call them multi-sticks, but I think those are the, the Bite Beauty lipsticks, foundation here, milk makeup here. I should probably move the milk makeup. It's bothering me that we have like almost one brand shelves and then random shit. So milk, you're coming over here. You, random items, lipsticks, and uh, brow products, you're coming over here. So we have eyeshadows, cream eyeshadows, Milk makeup. This is gonna bother me. It's okay. Let's just do it gently. We have Glossier right here, Marc Jacobs, and um, ColourPop. And then here, and I hate opening this drawer because it's not a smooth open. We have, um, stuff that I can actually see. So glitters, we have foundations more because I like testing out a ton of stuff. And plus I've been reaching for these quite a lot. My favorite powder bronzer, my favorite powder highlighter, um, eyeshadows over here. We have random miscellaneous things over here and uh, glitters. Whoop. And um, what are these called? Glossier stretch concealers and more concealers because I'm a concealer girl. So I'm gonna finish my stuff. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, subscribe if you want to see me organize more stuff. And my dog's going crazy because my parents just got home. So 
I'm tired. I'm gonna go eat. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye!